Well, it's the end of an era in the Abilene cattle industry. Long time Abilene livestock auction owner is kicking up his boots and selling the business. Today was Randy Carson's last auction as owner and KTAB's Claire Kreitz has his story. If you've never seen this before, it feels like organized chaos, complete with stadium seating, slamming metal gates, a stage like you've never seen, a fast-talking director, and hurting in and out of the spotlight, the stars of the show. But behind the scenes for the last 26 years, sits Randy Carson. Five by five. Guys, get in now. 700. Whose history at the Abilene Livestock Auction goes back even further. I started work here in 1967, working on weekends, washing water troughs, cleaning feed troughs. And he just built his way up. Rodney Goodwin has known Carson since their days of working the yard. He just wanted to own this place. Carson quit for a few years, not straying too far from the business. He was buying cattle for a living. And not straying too far from his ultimate goal. Went to a a deal the Chamber of Commerce put on Abilene, and the last question was, what would you like to accomplish in your lifetime? And I did, in 1975, write down on Abilene Livestock Auction. And I've still got that paper somewhere. In 1993, that dream became a reality. Well, it's been my living for a long, long time, so I've made a good living here. So I've got to meet a lot of people. I've made a lot of friends. I've enjoyed it. I sure have. But after more than two decades. I'm fixing to have a birthday for long. I'll be 71, and uh, it's about time to slow down a little bit. Carson is hanging up his hat. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. Thank you, Claire. And Randy has always been great mm -hmm. to us around here, yep. and we've done a lot of stories at the livestock auction. Uh, Randy says he plans to stick around for a year or so to help out the new owners. Of course, can't just go away that quick. Can't leave. All right. Coming